Supercharging story time. Oh yeah, I am charging. Right now, we're almost done. It's going to go up to like 248. I was really confused and I posted about this. Because um, I feel like the trip section is now smaller than it used to be. And it's now like 90% is daily and 10% is trip. And I cannot change this. I tried to explain this to my husband yesterday. I can't change that bar up there. That is from Tesla themselves. So, you know, I want it to be up to there, honestly. Because I drive a lot. And that's that. But my husband says, keep it at the 80-20 rule. But if it's changed because maybe the battery's not getting affected, I don't care. <sighs> okay. So yeah, story time. I have been driving this car like crazy. I have been working my butt off. I have overnight sitting in the middle of nowhere. And then either before or after that, I have to drive to the other part of middle of nowhere. And for a pet visit for a dog on insulin. So there's, and I'm just like giving meds and meds to these pets like I've never done before. Just a lot of special needs animals right now. So I'm tired. Last night, yesterday, I was um, very, very, very frustrated with my dear husband who works with me. And working with your spouse is very challenging because I think there's like power play. There's like struggle with who's running what, um, who's the boss, you know, who's doing what tasks, are they doing enough, you question everything. And it's not like an employee or an independent contractor where you can, you know, give them things, they do it, you're happy, at least they got it done. You don't really, you shouldn't have huge expectations and, you know, all that. But I think I expect a lot. And I uh, was extremely disappointed yesterday, especially. Um, I mean, I, I know that there are days when he works his butt off. There are days when I slack off, I'm sure. I will never admit that. Um, but yesterday, part of the two jobs in the middle of nowhere, we did overnight sitting. So we got there the night before, and I was a little late. And there's another lady at work there, so we were talking. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm finishing up all the stuff. So we, I kind of, well, I finished up a lot. Um, and my husband kind of sat around, and then he helped do the fluids for a cat. I was like, that's nice. And he sat around again and then was kind of giving me looks like, what are you doing? Like, why are you working? I'm like, because there's a chart and you got to finish these jobs. So I finished them by like 1030 and we were so tired. We just went to bed. And uh, that was that. Woke up the next day and I knew I had to rush to another visit for a dog on insulin. Not super rush, but get the jobs done. And there's a large chart of stuff. So um, you know, I said, can you sit outside with the dogs? And he sat out there and then like, it was like taking a long time. I'm like, I, so I was like, okay, Ugh. too much Red Bull, right? I can't even talk. Ugh. All right. So I go outside and I see him on his phone and the dogs are like sitting at the door and I'm like, okay, they're ready to come in. And can you come do the next thing with me? And, um, I've been giving him kind of menial tasks cause those are actually pretty time consuming. So, um, he does that begrudgingly, you know, like shuffling his feet, like he's pissed off at me. And I'm like, job's got to get done. Like what? what? No, it's just like, that's where it gets really frustrating, especially with him. He's very stubborn. So this is just becoming a complain fest. Okay. But that's what story time is, right? But yeah, he's very stubborn and <clears throat> doesn't like to be told what to do, even if it's a job that we're getting paid for and has to get done. He just doesn't like it. So I understand that, and I usually give him a lot of space. But for this, you know, if he's there, please help. Please, okay? Just <laughs> So we get that done, and then he's like, oh, you can drive. And like I said, these two houses, they're in the middle of nowhere each, and they're in separate cities, pretty much. And there's a lot of driving. So I then get in the car, drive it out and then we get to the next house and there's a note right there this is my first visit for them 
and the note says everything, all the meds, and he then says to me, how do you know what meds are what? And I said, they're labeled, they're, it's in a pill bottle, and the pill bottle has the, so I was kind of a bitch, I guess, about that, but I was like, just, I was a little frustrated from the past, the last visit, and the last night, and then I'm like, yeah, they're labeled, so just let's look at the note and do what the note says. So I said, okay, go out with the dog. I'll get the pills ready, get the food ready. I get that ready. And then he's doing the sitting on his phone thing. And I'm like, okay. I didn't, I said, can you like help do something? Yeah, if that, that was the straw that broke the camel's back and he got all pissed and huffy and proceeded to the whole day. And this happens all the time. I should learn better. I should just let him do what he wants. The whole day is shot. He doesn't do any work then around the house or anything. He does it begrudgingly if he does. And then uh, kind of the kicker later on, um, two kickers, I would say. The dog we did, the second dog, with the insulin we had to get to, they're like, oh, no, you did the insulin? We already did it this morning before we left. And I'm like, first off, one, why did you book me in the morning if you were doing the morning visit already yourself? And two, why didn't you tell me? They left a note and said when the last visit is, they said nothing about they were doing insulin in the morning. They booked me to do a breakfast insulin visit. So I'm just like, oh, my God. And then they're like, can you go back at 2 o'clock and check to see if she's like, dead, you know, because that's, that's when it would start kicking in, and doesn't offer to pay for the visit or anything, I'm just like, okay, so I tell my husband about this, and, you know, he didn't offer to go do it for me or anything, so, lo and behold, um, I find out that he snuck off to his friend's house and didn't tell me, and I'm just like, okay, you didn't tell me, and we have a dog coming, uh, I have a bunch of pet visits, and we're working together, and I've told him in the past, I need to know when you just disappear like that because we have bookings and people last minute all the time, and, you know, I need to know that. So he comes back then and, uh, you know, is pissy and stuff and pretty much pissy the whole night, and then we go out for dinner later. I went out on two visits. Um, I don't know what he was doing till like, 10, I think, just... It took way too long to get out to dinner, and that's always a mistake. I stopped at a place and got a glass of wine and listened to some music and then met him, and, uh, yeah, we were up to, like, two, kind of being bitchy to each other, and uh, I didn't really get my point across, I don't think. I tried calmly talking to him later on in the day yesterday, and I was just like, you know, it, it made me upset because, like, this is your job too, and I feel like you're not involved in stuff, so I need to stop. In the end, this happens a lot. This this is like not the first time I've gotten pissed off like this. This is a common occurrence, and they say that you're insane if you uh, keep repeating, you know, the same mistakes. Sorry, a car just drove by. Here you can get a view of the supercharged world. And you got to back up into the spots at the Tesla way because front parking is whatever. Okay, it's not that exciting. You'd rather hear me complain. So anyway, <clears throat> after that, I decided that I need to, this stinks, I need to like mentally fire my husband from the job. And that means no expectations, no, um, reliance on him, and this is tough because he's my husband, I should rely on him for things, but it's not working, this working together thing, it is not, and I have all these dreams and thoughts of my future and my career, and, you know, I'm inspired by people that have employees, they're independent contractors, or friends that they pay, you know, <laughs> like anyone or family who are trustworthy and can do the job and not be pissed about working. So, I need to lay back, I'm so tired. You know, I'm just, yeah, I'm working on it. Today I was working on it, but he was so mad about yesterday, he was like kind of attacking me. I was like, 
doing some things around the house and he was like, no, no, like, I'm not doing that. Sorry, people are walking by. I'm like, should I be talking to myself? Um, yeah, he was just, you know, mad. And then he like kind of attacked me because I was packing up stuff for eBay. I'm like, who does that? And because he thinks I'm going to use it against him because I do, I guess, when I'm like, you haven't done anything all day. Can you help? I shouldn't say that. That's bad on me. But it's how I feel sometimes when I don't have someone to help me with a bajillion things. I've set up my business to be run by two people. And I mean, it even gets tough for two people. There's busy times and there's times like today I can sit here and supercharge the car, which I didn't even have to do and hang out with you guys. So, you know, I could have spent all morning at the beach if I wanted to at a pool. Like today's a pretty slow day. But then there's times like the holidays where you're busy as heck and it's a freaking four person job at that point, but you want to work hard because you want to take all the money for yourself, of course, what means to be a business owner, you know, a lot of times, but yeah, I know I get stressed. I know I get overworked, but I have, uh, yeah, now <clears throat> come to the conclusion, yes, that I need to mentally fire him from being relied on and if I expect nothing when good things come I will be happy yeah that's where my life is <sighs> but yeah otherwise I mean I am very thankful and grateful for what I have I worked hard for it I didn't get crap from really anybody I mean the only person or people that give me things I would say well I have a really good friend that gets me a lot of gifts Joseph thank you for all the crap you get me like hoverboards and things like that <laughs> but and I have good family um that get me awesome things too because yeah we all love presents and gifts but <sighs> you know I didn't get much from my dear sweet mother in life uh I think it caused me to become like a serial entrepreneur and work my butt off and Sometimes that bites me in the ass because I can't stop and I want to keep going and, you know, that's where I get frustrated with my husband who's the opposite of me in that a little bit. He likes to relax and he considers that almost like payment and he gets great fulfillment out of it, which so do I when I buy a freaking trip to the Bahamas. Yeah. How did we get there? Ah, <sighs> so, you know life I guess you could say I'm a freaking capitalist but at the same time I'm kind of anti which is weird oh now I'm just rambling but yeah let me take a sip of my drink yeah so I wanted to use the Tesla talks to talk about Tesla things I'll probably make another video later about the white card issue and stuff with that becoming the base model, oh my god, what a drama fest, but, you know, right now I just want to talk about crap, and I'll probably do that from time to time, so you guys can learn about me and what I do, versus all me being a professional on Teslas, which I'm not at all, and I'm probably going to sound like a dumb butt doing that, so, you know, whatever. Heck yeah. <clears throat> I will let you guys probably know how today goes, too, because, yeah, I'm really nervous. I don't want my marriage to fall apart because of our stupid job issues, you know. I also want to have a successful career, and, you know, I'm just looking for the right person to work with me, and I think separating that will be very healthy for our marriage because... You know, I think it would be. And I'm trying to get my mom to move to Florida. She would be a great help. I know she loves to work. Like, she's like me. That's where I get it from. And, uh, luckily, like, a member of Eugene's family wants to help. Sadly, she lives a little far from me, but she can help with jobs out there. And, you know, I have some other friends in the networking group that can help. But I'm just 
I think I'm just overworked and maybe having a slight breakdown. And it's not even like I said, there's a lot of work. It's kind of just the times when there are. I mean, I just haven't gotten a chance to relax and just chill out, ride a bike, do something like that. So maybe I should try that. Okay, well, I'm going to go because I'm going to just keep talking then. I don't even know who's going to watch this. If you do, good luck. And we'll see you later.